Hello, and welcome to the wet hair edition of Legacy of the Void. Please contain your excitement. Now, in my never-ending quest to sort of get a decent balance of sound, I have boosted my mic a little bit, which might make the clicking more pronounced, but also makes my voice a bit louder. I feel like the other videos were a bit too quiet, and until I get my hands upon that Yeti, this is just the way it's going to have to be. So we're going to continue. When we last left off, we had gone to Planet Shakurus, which looked suspiciously like it was un undergoing the same treatment as, um... I want to say Monet, but that's not the Taurian planet from Mass Effect 3, that's its moon, right? Wherever Taurians come from. Tauriania. So, you know, we've got to go there, see what's going on. But until then, we had a whole lovely ship to explore. So I'm going to do that. I want to see what's on board this awesome-looking flagship, the Spear of a Dune. I have to wonder why the Protoss haven't been using this the entire time. Like, if getting this whole thing back up and running was just as easy as activating a few conduits, why didn't they go and do that immediately when the Zerg first attacked Aya in StarCraft 1? They would have just blasted the Overmind to pieces with this thing. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Okay, so we've got missions, we've got conversations. We want the conversations first, obviously. It's time for that roleplay. My Dark Templar were tracking your invasion on Aya when you were cut off. Then the warp gate opened. What happened, Artanis? Amon used the collar to seize control of the Templar. I could feel his rage tearing through me, and I was powerless against it. Zeratul found me. It was there that he... Yes. He tried to free me, and he succeeded at the cost of his own life. He fell by my hand. It was Amon's deed, not yours. Zeratul came to me with a warning, but I did not act. Because of this, he is now gone, and the stars burn dimmer for his loss. Amon's deed or not, I carry a burden, Matriarch. One that cannot be easily lifted. Yeah, no, I agree with Artanis. This is all his fault. So let's see what Karax, the really freaky Protoss with a beard, made out of minerals, has to say to us. Karax, even without the Kala's light, I can sense your sadness. Your pain. Does the Spear of a Doom bring you no joy? That is just it, Hierarch. Without the Kala, it is as if I am blind. I cannot sense your feelings, know the true depth of your thoughts. I cannot call upon the surety of other face smiths. I am alone. I feel the isolation as well, as though thrashing within the vacuum of space. But you are not alone, brother. To think the Dark Templar have endured this existence all this time. The days ahead will not be easy. We may not have the Kala to rely on Karax, but we still stand as one. We will endure. There is no other option. Yeah, if the Dark Templars can live with it, then so can they. They just need to get used to it is all. So let's see what's going on on the bridge. The bridge. The bridge. We're on the bridge. I've just figured it out. This is the bridge. Let's go to the War Council. It's quite... there's not many rooms then. A shame. In the Hyperion, you could go to loads of places. A preserver? Released from stasis? She still bears her nerve cords. She's tethered to the collar. Hold. I am Rohana, Grand Preserver of the Valari and your War Council Advisor. You must be the Executor in Command. Or... You are not possessed by the Dark One. How is this possible? I feel darkness lingering at the edges of my every thought, but I am not corrupted. Preservers of my station have trained to control the Kala's every rebel. I assure you, I will stave off this evil and serve you better by doing so. As all preservers, I hold the memories and personalities of Protoss prior to my submission to Stasis. This will allow me to contrast your tactical decisions with those of past executors. From this chamber, you will be able to make all military
military allocations. I am Artanis, Hierarch of the Daylon. I lead all that is left of our civilization. Your memories are indeed of use, Rohana. But make no mistake, if you fall to this corruption, I will not hesitate to destroy you. It is understood. I am prepared for the Firstborn's darkest hour. Come, let me show you what may be done here. I'm amazed that all that apparatus behind her isn't like. Panel awaits, we may begin whenever you are ready. Just amazed that it's not pulling her head back and breaking her neck, you know. Protoss is strong. I have heard only tales of the Grand Preservers. I did not expect to encounter one aboard this vessel. That is not surprising, Hierarch. My sisters and I are unique. Trained from birth to master every intricacy of the Kala. I have experienced its true depth, plunged the infinite spectrum of emotion and memory. It is because of this gift we were selected to enter stasis, so that we may guide you in our most dire hour. Your sisters were aboard the other Ark ships? Then they... Are one with the Kala, fallen during the Zerg invasion of Iron. I know this. I feel the tragedy that has befallen us more deeply than you may realize. A terrible burden has been laid upon you, Rohana. Yet it is my fate to bear it. A fate foreseen by the same minds that constructed this vessel. I trust in their wisdom, Hierarch. I will serve my purpose, much as you must serve yours. Okay, interesting. Now let's see what this assembly panel is all about. Obviously, um, in Wings of Liberty, the Terran could research various things. In Heart of the Swarm, Kerrigan could upgrade herself, but I'm not sure what the Protoss are going to be able to do. The assembly panel allows you to customize your army based on the Protoss technology we encounter. Select the warrior category to begin. All right, let's now see what we've got going on. Choose one of the two factions for use in upcoming battles. These assignments are not permanent and can be altered as our combat needs change. Many battles await you, Hierarch. Choose a faction and lead them to glory. See, uh, in Wings of Liberty, the choices you made, the research choices, were permanent, but in um, Heart of the Swarm, you could change Ter um, Terrigan's, Kerrigan's um, evolution any time, and I, now you can change this any time, so that's useful. We are the blades of iron. Because I always choose wrong. Whirlwind damage. Okay, so that makes AOE zealots, basically. The Shadow Guard waits. Whirlwind and stun. So I guess there's no sort of right or wrong answer. It's situational. Am I going to be going up against a mission with loads of light enemies, or am I going up against a mission with loads of heavy enemies like roaches, you know? I think, for now, I'll just stick with Whirlwind. I'll just stick with Whirlwind and see what happens. What have we got here? here Regenerates shield and deals bonus damage to armored. A dragoon? Ooh, dragoons though. I don't know which I should pick. Uh, I'll, I'll go with the stalker for now because it's what I'm used to. And uh, I don't know if this like replaces stalkers with, dra with dragoons or if it just adds dragoons. But if it adds dragoons, then that might lead to some redundancy. But we'll see. We'll see. I've probably chosen everything all wrong there. And the next mission that I'm about to pick would have benefited from ooh, solar core. So there is at least somewhere else we can go on the ship later on. That's good to know. All right, would have benefited from the other two. But let's let's just dive right into it and see what's about to happen. Amon's Reach. The Zerg infestation is overtaking Talmetros. Our evacuation is already in great peril. Your raid cannot come soon enough, Hierarch. Alright, so the Zerg infestation detected are roaches and hydralisks. So, you know what I'm about to do. I need the other kind of zealot for that. The there we go. 
I like the way it lets you know what enemies you're about to encounter in missions. That is very, very useful. Let's dive right in and see what happens. <sighs> I love that, like, clearly Blizzard artists just get to have loads of fun with Photoshop CC to make all of these loading screens. And they are awesome. I wish I could draw even a millionth as good as this. In fact, I can draw about a billionth as good as this, and that's just not really good enough. But I'm practicing. I have a new tablet. I have recently gotten a... Uh, not Photoshop, because where's the money coming from? But I've got something that's like Photoshop, but cheaper. Guess probably not as good, but then, as I have just stated, I'm a terrible artist. So it's going to be a very long, 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 long time until I need the best of the best, you know? Because right now, the best of the best would be completely wasted on me. Pardon me. Right, this is of course our, my first mission done today since booting up StarCraft, so the loading screen is just going to be pretty horrifically bad. Although, I do think that in Legacy of the Void, the, the loading screens have gotten a bit better, actually, compared to Heart of the Swarm and Wings of Liberty. I mean... The loading screen's there, you know, you, you could read a book before they were finished. Whereas these, these are more boilerplate long loading screens. I wouldn't say they're not long, I'm not going to be that charitable, but they are, they are like other long loading screens I've seen, and not the epics that came in previous expansions. Shakura's teams with Amon Zerg Brutes. We hold only the southwest quadrant of Ptolemetrium. And even that is in peril. We must evacuate our people, but the launch bays have been defiled with infestation. Only ground forces can clear them. Once the bays are free, the planetary warp conduit will allow our ships to escape safely. The launch bays will be cleared. Your people will survive, Matriarch. This I swear. Alright, let's get to it. I get to make Dark Templars and- oh! Okay, the Spear of Adun, I have it for the entire entire game. That's why I wasn't unlocking anything cool. You need the aid of my Dark Templar in this battle. They can strike from the shadows without fear of reprisal. They can, but I think that, you know, that's going to be a false economy. I reckon that uh, the enemy is just going to have absolutely loads of detection. So let's scout out with these guys and see. See what we're dealing with here. Alright, let them have some fun while I build up my base. So, it's not worth doing, I don't think that we can do air stuff, and oh my, something's happening. Artanis, I'm detecting a rift opening near your position. Avoid Rasher. By the gods, it's sieging the warp conduit. Kerax, are any of the Spear of Adun's weapon systems ready for use? Orbital strike is online. Designating targets. Well then, this is a bit fancier than what usually happens in a mission. Is this the first time there's ever been a big cutscene in the middle of a mission? It might be. The Thrasher has been weakened. Warriors, move in and seal its fate. All right, so is that orbital strike going to be a new goodie that I get? No, it's still locked. Strikes can now be fired oh. from the Spear of Adun's command panel, Hierarch. Good to know. Oh, I think I need to move. Yeah, okay. This is working a bit like a, D a Diablo boss, and indeed a Heroes of the Storm boss. Well, alright, give me some time. Pardon me, I've only just begun. Just like Christmas. It's only just begun. Actually, it's uh, the beginning of November, so I shouldn't start talking like that. I will anger people. Alright, I'm going to get rid of this in the hopes that it's not going to screw me over. Oh. Indeed. Completing bonus objectives will allow me to improve the Spear of Adun's power. There are two vaults left in the city. 
good. 24, what am I aiming for with 24? Is that 8? Uh, no, not 8. Uh, 16, I think I'm aiming for 16. Yeah, good. How are my boys doing? Still got all four of them. That's good. So do I just get, like, loads of gas? Because that suits me. Oh! Who are they? I have two bases. No, I don't. I'm so confused. Ugh. I should just not play video games. Right, let's, let's get you on gas. Let's chrono boost you if I can. And we'll also get working on shields after you're done. The Zerg have extensively fortified this area. Oh! Orbital strike would oh! 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 Shit. Be careful. The Swore Crawlers and Overseers ahead can detect our Dark Templar's movements. Yeah. Slay them first. Door up our defenses. The Zerg are moving to attack our Nexus Point. I should have known that I would need, like, cannons. Why did I not think to start building loads of cannons? Right, at the very least, they're only attacking with one roach. I think I'm playing this on hard difficulty. <laughs> I guess it's because my Dark Templars have been hacking away at stuff nice and early. I'm so sorry that I lost that one Dark Templar to incompetence. I really hope it can forgive me. Alright, so I'm clearly not going to be able to take that place without a more robust force because of the uh, um, Observer, or the Overseer even. So, what I'm going to do is just deploy a pylon to get rid of some of that excess energy. I thought I told you to make another assimilator. I probably press BE because I'm used to making extractors with Zerg. That sounds like the sort of thing I'd do. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start humping in some of these fancy zealots. And uh, yeah, I'll get some zealots, get some stalkers, and then we're going to dive in there, have a good time. I'm just going to queue these up. You're not supposed to queue these up, but I can't play this game very well, so. Just do. Also, I like the change they've made to Chrono Boost, actually. Uh, previously, you used to have to, like, Chrono Boost every single time, and your Nexus would have energy to use. Uh, now it would seem. A second thrasher. The ah. Is under assault. Where is it, though? I, I can't even see it. Wait, there are some... Um, are these mine? No. That's why I was confused. Oh, that is... That is pretty fancy. Okay, that is really fancy. That is way too fancy. Alright, so... There we go. Don't know if there's going to be any uh, detection here. Oh, uh. Come on, come on, come on. Get it down. Oh. Actually, I don't need these zealots. I've gotten rid of the detection. It's fine, isn't it? Let's go do that. Was that, was that a, a Stark of One Queen? Wow. Okay. Let's get you in there. Let's get making some of my fancy new stalkers. Oh shit, I need to be paying attention to this fight because it's got AoE attacks. See? Yeah, there we go, we move it. Yeah, alright, alright. Alright, you know what? I'm going to build one probe. Ah, oh. all of my like skill of multitasking has just vanished. So uh, let's additional pylons. I never thought I'd see the day. So here we go. You construct some additional pylons, and also Yes, the enemy needs to know if you're and I need to uh, know what, I, what the hell I'm doing. Because I am just... Alright, let's... Ah, there you go. Those shields come back. That's really nice. I'm just going to bunch these all together, because clearly that's all I can do. So now I guess I should blink as often as possible. It's like a shield recharge thing. Boop! Ha-ha! <laughs> How's that for micro? Alright, so my probe that I made, let's establish a forward pylon, that's what we need. Alright. 
There you go. I've got my six cannons. That's what we decided was good. And we'll get... Oh, wait. Is that 15? I don't need that many probes. Oh, well. Have I just locked you in? Okay, well. That one... No, I, I do need that many probes. I'm... <laughs> I'm so embarrassing. Okay. Alright. There we go. Now that, as far as I'm concerned, is like expert defense. So let's, let's sort this out. Cool. Alright, well if I'm lacking minerals, then let's just get in there and fight. At the very least, the Dark Templar did not have abilities. So I don't have to fiddle with my fingers in order to get blinking. Oh my god. Yeah, I must hurry the hell up is what must be done. But then again, I like it, you know. I like that there's sort of um, a non-arbitrary time constraint, you know. It's not like, oh, if you don't randomly do this in a certain amount of time, you lose. It is a good, proper... If you don't do this quick enough, then giant monsters will kill you. I think that is good. Also, why the hell aren't I immediately targeting the Overseer? What's wrong with me? Like, obviously that's target number one. Come on. Obviously it is. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing right by my, uh, by my guys. I'm not. Take out the detection. No, take out the detection! Just told you. All right, now the detection's out. Now the detection's gone. We can really make good use of these of these dudes. All right. All right. I'm actually. I'm gonna do a bit more destroying here. I want to, like, take out stuff around. My base is under attack, but is it doing fine? Yeah, my six cannons are doing the Lord's work. Yeah. Also, do I have one? I've got one more thingy to do, so I should really upgrade that. Uh, there we go. Not out of minerals. Okay, that's fine. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's finish this guy off. Let's kill the detection. Kill the detection. Ooh, that looked a bit nasty. Kill the detection! God, overseers are a lot stronger than you think they are. Okay, so I want to be only attacking these with Dark Templar because... I guess I'm going to be only attacking these with Dark Templar, and I really want to be killing... I want to kill Overseers with these things as well. Alright, well I've learned. I've learned a lesson, and I'm actually going to start this again, because uh, I've done really badly.